Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Alonso. Good evening. How are you today? Good. Fine, fine. Fine, okay. It's a pleasure fine. to see you, right? Hi. Mire, mire que uh -huh. estaba ahí con, con una incógnita porque ya hoy me empezó a presionar Hello. la cámara. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ella es mi hija. Hey, what's your name? What's your ¿Cómo name? ¿Cómo te llamas, mi amor? Simena Alessandra. Simena Alessandra. Simena Alessandra. What a beautiful name, eh? Simena. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> dear. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Rolando, Victor, welcome. Ah, Rolando, I see celebration behind you. Look. Oh. Okay, I understand. Chupin Last month. Last month. <laughs> Chupin activities. <laughs> no, nah. no. Only, only soda, right? One beer, one beer. Only one, right? That's okay. Okay. Hello. One box. One, one box, box decent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Nah. Hey, Victor. Hello, Victor. Hello, What's teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? One, one, one dose. Fine, thank you. One dose. Okay. <laughs> now let's begin. I'm gonna, I will share the, the PowerPoint presentation. Hey. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> so for today, we're going to see statements with the past tense of be, right? Uh, we were learning about the use of the simple past. Now today, we're going to start with the simple past of verb to be, right? If you remember, the three forms of verb to be in present are am, um, are, and is. But in the past tense, in the past tense, the two forms of the verb to be are was and where. Was and where, right? Good, here we go. And uh, we're going to learn how to make questions, how to make questions with the past tense of be, right? So that is for today. Now let's start with the, with the lesson objective. Please, Victor, can you read the objective for the class? Today, I will give you time, look. Tick tac, tick tac, right? <laughs> when I make the question, you have specific time. And when the time is over? <laughs> okay. Now, Victor, can you hear me, Victor? Please. Yes, teacher. Read the objective for the class, read. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statement with the past of be additionally additionally you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting Excellent. in real life setting in la vida real in other words right okay good so now uh, we're going to start with the vocabulary and the word for today are born, came, pretty, college, same, right? These are the five words for today. Repeat after me, please. Born. Born. Came. Pretty. College. Same. Okay, now I will make question, right? Orlando, how do you say born in Spanish?
Sorry, teach Nacer. Excellent, right? Now, how do you say came in Spanish, Alicia? Welcome, Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Welcome. Well, welcome. Okay, tell me, please. How do you say came in Spanish? Came. Vino. Vino, right? But it's not the vino. <laughs> So it's uh, the past tense of come, right? The past tense of come. Okay, good. De, de this ir, is... ¿verdad? O de venir. No, de venir. Exacto. Yes. Vino de venir. Exacto. Vino de tomar, no, right? Vino de venir. No drink. It's not drink. Listen, Alicia, Rolando was celebrating, you know, something special. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he drank soda or, or, or vino. It's soda tissue, soda tissue. Okay, I hope that, right? Hey, one corona. Okay, only one. <laughs> only one. Only one. Good. Now, uh, how in this case, this is difficult. Let me see. For uh, uh, this uh, one is for Alfonso, right? Alonso, sorry. Jose Alonso, please. Yes, uh, teacher. Tell me, what is the meaning of pretty, but not as an adjective? Adjective, no. I know the pretty is beautiful, right? Uh -huh. But uh, how do you say pretty like an adverb? Un adverbio. What is the meaning? <laughs> it's very difficult. The question is very difficult. Listen, Alonso. Bien. Is over. <laughs> okay. Este... No sé, no sé, no, me agarró en curva. Ana Carolina, Carolina, please help me. Welcome. No te sirvo, te Tell me, te how te do you te say hello. pretty? Hello, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Listen, Carolina, how do you say pretty like an adverb? No like an adjective, like an adverb. I will give you one example. Okay. The, the food was pretty good, pretty good. No, no, no you don't, you don't. Okay. No, no, no. Alicia, can you help me? This is a difficult question, Alicia. Pretty, pretty nice, pretty good, pretty well. How are Se, you today? Sería... Muy bien. Sería Muy como right. que... Ajá, oh, Alonso, okay. Alonso, ajá, tell me. Ajá, yo estaba pensando así como que, que, que te vaya bonito, no sé, algo así. No, 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 en este caso es otro muy, muy. Ah, oh, ok. Because it's another, right? So like you say, very good, pretty good. Understand? Ah, oh, ok. Pretty is a synonym of very, right? Ok, now, please. Eh, Lorena, is your microphone working today? Está trabajando el micrófono ahora, Lorena. Hello. Hello, Ana, Lorena, Teos. No, right? Parece ser que todavía sí el micrófono arruinadito. Ok. Now, Polish. Alejandro. Welcome, Alejandro. How do you hello, say? Sir. Hello. How do you say college in Spanish? Mm, college. I don't know, teacher. You don't know. You don't know. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, Juan Alfonso. How yes, do teacher. you how do you say college in Spanish? Colegio. Mm, it's superior. Superior, Universidad. right? Universidad. Yes. Yeah. Colegio in English is school, right? Because they don't make distinction like in Spanish, we say colegio, escuela, right? In English, they say school, school. And the university, they always say college, right? It's very similar to university. Why I understand that the, the difference is that you can live inside the, the, the city, right? Huh? Se puede vivir adentro, as far as I know, right? Okay, and to finish, same. How do you say same? 
Let me see who can help me. Rolando, again, please. Rolando, how do you say same in Spanish? Do you say same? No, se me, se me no, ha ido. No, no, no. Okay, Carolina, no, please. No. Carolina, help me. Same. Es igual o lo mismo. Ah, excellent. Very good. Same, right? Now, please, repeat after me. Born. Came. Pretty. College. Same. same. Okay, good. Now, let's start with statements with the past of this. Yes, tell me questions. Uh, same, que, que dijo que significaba. Ok, Carolina, please repeat. Eh, igual o lo mismo. Ok, okay. gracias. Thank, thank you, thank you, Carolina. Now, uh, listen, I want you to pay attention in these statements. If you have read one book or have you received English classes, sometimes they say, complete the, the statement. Complete the sentence, right? So now the question, this is a very difficult question. What is the difference between a statement and sentence? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una statement y una sentence? What is the difference? I will give you time to think. Tic-tac, tic-tac, tic-tac. It's a sand clock, sand clock, reloj de arena, right? Sand clock. Okay. Jose Alonso? Yeah, afirmamos algo en la sustain. Uh -huh. Yes. We say yes or we say no, Alonso. Afirmamos oh. o negamos oh. algo en la statement, right? Oh, okay. And the sentence is more general. For example, a question is a sentence. Imperative, close the door, open the book. Those are Excuse me, imperatives, and those are sentences. The imperative, the question, the affirmative, the net, all, in general, all are sentences, right? Sentence, oraciones, right? But the statements are only opposite or negative, affirmative or negative, right? Those are the statements. So when you read in the book, cuando leen un libro, complete the statement, quiere decir completar la oración, sea afirmativo o negativo, right? But when you say complete the sentence, it could be affirmative, negative, question, imperative, exclamation. Okay? So sentence is more general. After this commercial, right? Después de este comercial, let's go and let's see the structure of affirmative statements, right? With the past tense of be. Okay. So I have here was. Was. And where? I was at home yesterday. You were sick. Notice that here we're using was and where. As I said at the beginning, the verb to be means a passive verb that indicates, right, a condition of being, right? Una condición de ser o estar en un lugar, right? In the present tense, we have what, uh, are, am, um, and is. Are, am, um, and is. And in the past tense, we have was and were, right? I was at home yesterday. You were sick. She was happy last Sunday. In negative, the subject was and were plus not plus the complement, right? In affirmative, only the subject was were in complement. In negative, subject was and were plus not plus the complement. We were not at school. We were not at school. It was not cloudy last night. No cloudy. My friends were not at the concert last weekend. Right? It was a concert of Kinflick, right? <laughs> last weekend. So uh, my friends were not. Mm -hmm. So in this case, how do we use was and where? Listen, please. 
we use was with I, you, we, and they. Repeat, please. Use was with I, you, we, and they. Okay, only you. One, two, three. Excellent, very good. Now, where? Use where with she, he, and it. Use where with she, he, and it. Okay, repeat, please. Repeat after me. Use where with she, he, and it. Now, only you. Only you. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Very good. Teacher. Yes, Teacher. Tell, me. tell me. Tell me. Sí, pues, este... Ahí, ahí supuestamente nos está explicando de que was se ocupa en I, you, we, they. Only, yes. En las afirmativas que tiene en la pantalla, uh -huh. está utilizando she. En was. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, yes. It's a mistake, yes, you're right. Es totally que, right. Es, es que lo yo, hice al revés. Yo, Perdón, lo hice al revés. Sí. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a question of finger, right? <laughs> Sorry, big also for the teacher. <laughs> yes, it's, it's the other side, right? It's the other side. It's where and, and was. Yes. Sorry. But I will give you some extra example. For example, uh, I will make the correction. Sorry. Vamos a hacer la corrección. Sorry. Este oso no lo podemos dejar pasar. Where? <laughs> yeah. And was. Because I, 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 I check this every day, you know, I, I was mechanically making, right? Okay, good. Now, let me see here. Okay. I was, you were, she was. Okay, good. Now, correction. Use were with I, you, we, and they. Use was with she, he, and it, right? Okay, thank you very much, Rolando. <laughs> You're my <Okay>. salvation tonight. <laughs> okay, but listen, not only I, coach. you, and, and they, you're the coach, <laughs> but we have coach. other other nouns, right? For example, we say, uh, coach. my friends, my friends. Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Por ahí una... uh, okay. Teacher, okay. una pregunta. Teacher. Rolando y luego Alonso. Ok, please, okay. Rolando. Come on. I va acompañado de was. Uh -huh. Entonces, I sería en la parte de abajo. No, I can't believe. Tonight, <laughs> eh, the new teacher is Rolando. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, no. No, say thank you very much, right? Thank you very much. Es uh -huh. I, he, she, it. And it, What's yes, it? right. Totally right. I, yeah, that's it, right? Another mistake, let me see. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Here, yeah, right. Okay. okay, Alonso, please. The same observation. La misma observación, Alonso. Creo que era otro compañero, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, yes, finally, yes. But I was telling you that not only the pronouns can be used with was and where, right? Let me see. Ah, here is another. Just give me a second. We can also use, uh, we can also use was and where with other nouns. For example, when, when I use uh, my friends, right? When I say my friends, I have to use where, my friends where, my friends where, right? Oh, my brothers where, my sisters where, right? So in this case is also plural, right? Plural. 
And also when I say was, I can say uh, my mother was, Rolando was, uh, my brother was. was. Um, also we can say, for example, uh, uh, Fido, Fido was, <laughs> okay? Or other noun, for example, my car was, my car was, right? And notice the contraction here, was not equal to say wasn't, were not equal to say were in, in negative, right? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna make a test. I will make a, a little quiz, a little quiz, right? Let's start with, welcome, Claudia. Welcome, Claudia. Hi, good night. Good night, good night. Or, or Doña, right, Claudia? Yes, or Doña. Okay, thank you, thank you, good. Now this is the first question for you. You are going to tell me was, or you're going to tell me where, right? Was or where, watch and where. And I'm going to do something, right? Le voy a preguntar solo lo que tiene la cámara apagada. Solo a ellos le voy a preguntar. <laughs> okay. No, please, Claudia, tell me. She, she is was or where, Claudia? Um... She. I say she was or she were. No entiendo muy bien. Okay, I will show you again the 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 window, right? Corregida totalmente. Por Rolando. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rolando. Okay, now uh, Claudia. Mande. Can you see my screen? Puede ver mi pantalla ahorita. Sí. Yes. Okay. Now look. The past of be, el pasado del verbo to be, right? Is yo era, tu era, nosotros éramos, vosotros erais. <laughs> so, where? Look. But when I use the past of be, I have two forms. Tengo dos formas. O was o where. Una de las dos formas puedo usar en el pasado. Mm, okay. I use, listen, listen, Claudia. I use where with you, we, they, my friends, my brothers, my sisters. My parents, yes. uh, my children, etc. And I use was with she, he, it, and I, and also with uh, my brother, my house, etc. etc. Right now. The question is Claudia, with she okay. I use was or where? She is was. Excellent, very good. No me. I repeat, right? Solo le voy a preguntar lo que tiene la cámara apagada. Sí, sí. Ok, no es mí. Please. Uh, we. We is where. Excellent. Where? Josué. Josué. I. Was. Excellent. Lorena. ¿Será que ya estará bueno el micrófono, Lorena? O si no, el mensaje. No. Lorena. Estoy en... Ah, no, Hola, no, no. dije. Es que estoy en dos lugares. Ah, bueno, sí, ahí se le... En uno tiene el micrófono, ¿verdad? Es que como en una tiene Lorena y en otra tiene Ana. Sí. Ok. Bueno, le vamos a preguntar como Ana. <risa> Ana, please, tell me. Ok. My... This is difficult, this is difficult. Listen. My brother and I... My brother and I was or were? Uh, were. Excellent, very good. Okay. Se le oye la resonancia porque tiene los dispositivos cerca, ¿verdad, Lorena? Sí, ahorita lo, perdón. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you now. Juan Alfonso, tell me. She. She was or she were? She was. Victor, they. Where? Ana Maria. Eh, Hello, hi. teacher. Hi, welcome. Hi. I, I was. I was. I was. I was. I was. My, this is yes. volunteer, right? Voluntary, volunteers. My children. My children was or my children were? Was. Was. No. Were, teacher. My it's children where? where? Because it's plural, okay. right? Okay. My children, uh -huh, it's plural. Okay. Hey. So in this case, it's where, right? My children where? 
another difficult, right? My feet. My feet were. F E E T. My feet were or my feet was. Was teacher. Where? Where because <laughs> it's plural. Foot is singular. Football, you know, foot. And feet is plural. Okay? okay. Now the last one, please. Pirulize. <laughs> Pirulize was or pirulize where? <laughs> Volunteers? Was. Is was? Was. Very good. Was. Pirulize was. Thank you. Now let's continue, please. Let's continue. Firulai. Firulai, yes. The big firu, right? Okay, let's continue, right? Now, please repeat after me. Give me a second here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened here. I will close this. Let's see what happened. Oops, sorry. Something wrong happened. Just give me a second. Document. Sure. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. Aprovechemos el tiempo plural, que me perdió el, el archivo. Ajá. Plural. Eh, para. Plural eh, es con where. No. O con was. Plural is, plural, ah, yes. Plural is with where. Ah. Everything plural is with where, right? Ok. And singular was. Singular was. Yes. Okay. The exception in this case is you, right? You too. That's the exception. Because you is only one, it's singular, right? You, exactly. you use where, that's the exception. But then in general, plural is where and singular is was, right? Okay, you good. Too, You're welcome. Now, let me see here. Uh, okay. Now repeat after me, please repeat after me. I was at home yesterday. You were sick. She was happy last Sunday. Teacher. Tell me. Mm, I no picture. <laughs> no, 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 no se puede ver. Okay, wait a minute. Sorry. Let me see here. Sorry, this is not my day. Okay, beginner here. Okay, now, can you see now? Yes. Oh, si se ve? Yes, let me see. Dígame si se ve. Yes? Se ve la pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, okay. Now, please, repeat after me. I was at home yesterday. You were sick. She was happy last Sunday. In negative, right? We were not at school. We weren't at school. It was not cloudy last night. It wasn't cloudy last night. My friends were not at the concert last week. My friends weren't at the concert last week. Okay, now let's go to the second part, right? To the second part. Alicia, can you can you help me reading the objective, please? Okay. Lesson objective be the end of the class. You will learn how to ask and ask answer question with the pass of B. Additionally, you will allow also also learn how to express yours. Cheers. To express here, right? Thank you very much. Now, by the end of the class, you will learn all of these questions and answers. Sorry, with the verb to be, right? Here we go. Question with the pass of be. Yes, no question. We have. Remember, in the affirmative, we have the subject. And we have the, the verb to be, right? In past, subject, verb to be. Now, in this case, we, we change the position of the verb to be in past, wasn't where, with the subject. 
just change the position, right? And then we say, instead of saying you were, we say, were you? Were you at home last night? Were my brothers at the stadium last Sunday? Were my brothers at the stadium last Sunday? Was Nisifus in his sandbox? Okay, so remember the answer for this is yes or no. Or yes or no. For example, were you at home last night? You can say, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Were my brothers at the stadium last Sunday? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. No, they were. Was Missy Fuss in his sandbox? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, he, it wasn't, right? If you can consider Missy Fuss like a person, we say, yes, he was, or no, he wasn't, right? Good. This is the with the yes, no question. So please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Were you at home last night? Were my brothers at the stadium last Sunday? Was Missy Fuss in his sandbox? In su cajita de arena, right? Now, the WH question or information question. In this case, we have a WH word. Listen, this is very important because according to the WH word, you answer. If the, answer, if the question is what, you answer with, with a thing, right? Con una cosa, una, un asunto, con un volado, como decimos en español, right? In El Salvador. So we say what. When we say when, we use time. When we say where, we use place. When we say who, uh, we're asking about people, right? So remember that. In this case, where? Where is a place? So where were they last year? I'm asking about a place. And then you say, they were in Guatemala, for example, right? They were in Guatemala. Next one. What was your problem yesterday? So I'm talking about a problem. So what's your problem? So I'm asking about what? Una cosa, una, una situación, un asunto, right? So we say it was uh, that she didn't have money, for example, right? She didn't have money. When were they in Italy? When? I'm asking about time. So we say they were in Italy last year. Okay? Now, please, repeat after me. Where were they last year? What was her problem yesterday? When were they in Italy? Okie dokie. Now let's practice. It's time to practice. Now I will give you time and you're going to answer, right? When the time is over, okay? I'm going to give you time. Tick tack, tick tack, right? Okay, now, Rolando, you're the first. Ready to answer, Rolando? Here we go. Was it raining? Was it raining, Rolando? Time is over. I'm sorry, Fernando. Alicia. Okay, don't worry. No. Don't worry, no, don't worry Rolando. It's a game. It's a game. Okay, Alicia. Was it raining? No, teacher. No, you don't get it. No. Well, number one is a yes, no question, Alicia. It's a yes, no question. So you're going to answer or yes or no, right? 
Okay. Let me show you again. Let me show you again, right? Pero es que yo no entendí, yo no entendí para la hora de la respuesta era decir sí o no, luego No, no, no. It's it's your option. You can say yes or no. It's only. your option. Yes. Only wait, wait. yes, only no. Okay. Only no. Yes. For example, were you at home last night? Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Were my brothers at the stadium last Sunday? Yes, they were. No, they weren't, right? Okay. And Alicia, if the question is with what, where, when, etc., etc., it depends on the question, right? So I want to answer with time, with place, with people, or with objects, right? According to the WH word. De acuerdo a la pregunta eh, de WH word. Le dicen dónde, cuándo, cómo, quién, etc. Okay. Now here we go. Was it rainy, Alicia? No, was. No. Was. Almost, almost, casi, Alicia. Okay, now, please. Yes. Alonso. Alonso. The was for Alicia. <laughs> no, hombre, yo poniendo atención para responder después. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Was it rainy, Alonso? Was it rainy? No. 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 I was. No, it's rain. No, no it. No it. No rainy. it was. No it wasn't, right? Wasn't. Okay. No, was. it wasn't. Or you can say, rain. yes, it was. No, okay. it wasn't. Or no, uh, or yes, it was, right? Because we're talking about the weather. Weather. Was it raining? No, it wasn't. Was it raining? Yes, it was. Good. Now, the next one. Ana Carolina. Ready, Carolina? Was yes. there a concert last week? Este no estaba en el cuadro, así que Carolina, la más difícil, le están tocando. Okay. <laughs> was there a concert last week? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. I was. No. 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 Yes. There. Eh, no. No. Pero. <laughs> que te está difícil, la cara. Uh -huh. Yes. There, there. There was a concert last week. Only that. Okay. Yes. There were. Right. Okay. Excellent, Carolina. Clean. Okay. <laughs> yes. There. Yes. There was. Yes. There was. If it is in plural, were there two concerts? Then say, yes, there were. Or in negative, yes, it no, sorry, no, it wasn't. Or no, there were. No. Okay, listen, you're going to use all the time there. Again, was there a concert last week? Yes, there was. Or no, there wasn't. With where? Were there two concerts last week? Yes, there were. No, there were, right? Okay, let's continue. This is for Alejandro. No, what were? Excuse me, there is a mistake here. Uh, give me a second. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Alejandro. Now, correction. Now, where were you yesterday, Alejandro? Where were yes. you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? Um, I was, no. Uh huh. I was in. Yes, I was. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I will explain again. Look, look. Wait a minute. Oopsie. Wait a minute. Okay. In the questions. In the questions. Yes, no question. Listen. 
We use was and were at the beginning. En las preguntas de sí y no, Alejandro, vamos a usar el was o el were al principio, ¿ok? Was okay. and were, yes. Pero el, y vamos a contestar o yes or no. O yes okay. or no, right? Ok, good. En las preguntas de información, vamos a usar what, where, when, who, why, etcétera, etcétera. Pero ahí no contestamos con yes or no. Ahí contestamos de acuerdo a lo que nos está preguntando. Si es dónde, vamos a decir un lugar. Si es cuándo, vamos a decir tiempo. Si es qué, vamos a decir algo. Un objeto abstracto o concreto. ¿okay? Si es who, vamos a usar quién. Una persona, right? Ok, now. Now let's go to the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ok, so question one was yes, no, because... ¿Por qué pregunta de sí y no? Porque al principio está el verbo to be en pasado, was. Was it raining? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Was there a concert last week? Mm, yes, there was. Or, no, there wasn't. Teacher. Pero aquí, Alejandro, estamos usando where. Ah, ok, donde, right? Good. Now, Alejandro. Where were you yesterday? I was in the stadium. The stadium, good. Dio el alianza 3 a 0, ¿verdad? Ganar. <laughs> ok, yes. thank you. Thank you, Alejandro. Ajá, Rolando, you have a question? Yes, teacher. En el yeah. caso de la, la primera pregunta que me hizo a mí, vea, creo que más o menos este, la, la respuesta afirmativa era yes, it was. Uh -huh. Y en el caso de negativa, no, it was. no, it wasn't. No, no, it was, yes. No, it was. Ok. Ok, continue, Thank please. No, a mí me gusta su fondo de voz esponja, siempre me, me gusta verlo. <ríe> ok, yes. es que es que tengo uno, uno de mis hijos le fascina vos esponja, así que ok, Noemí, please who was at the party, Noemí who was at the party no was at the party ok, wait, Noemí recordemos que dijimos que si comenzaba con was y where era una pregunta de sí y no pero si comenzaba con una palabra de WH, WH, tenía que contestar la información específica. Si yo le pregunto de where, usted me tiene que decir un lugar. Si yo le pregunto de when, tiene que decirme tiempo. Si le, le pregunto who, ¿qué me tiene que decir, no a mí? Who. Who is, quién es, ¿verdad, teacher? O oh, quién. Mm. O oh, quién. Uh -huh. Um, Mabel. Ah, uh -huh. Continue, Mabel. Was. Uh -huh. At the party. At the party. Okay, Mabel was at the party. Thank you. Now, next one. Who's next? Abel. Welcome, Abel. Vamos Hello, a ver si, con lo poquito que ha captado ahí, vamos a ver si me puede responder esta. Okay, Abel. Were they in San Miguel last week? Uh, yes or no? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, they. Yes, they. Yes, they were. Excellent. Yes, they were, right? Now, Billy, welcome, Billy. Hi, teacher. Hi. Now, was she at the bank in the morning? No, she wasn't. Excellent. Ana Maria, welcome, Ana Maria. Was Firulais in the yard? Yes, teacher. Now, listen to the question. You, was Firulais in the yard? Uh, no, it it wasn't. Excellent, very good. Victor, when were my sisters in Santana? 
Or nine, right? When were my sister in Santana, Victor? Time is over, Victor. You have the answer? Tiene la respuesta, Victor? Yes, teacher. Okay, please tell me. When were my sisters in Santana? My sister were in Santana yesterday. Excellent, my goodness. Congratulations, you got the prize, right? Se tuvieron premio ya en la vida, Victor. <laughs> We're not famous. Okay, now, Juan Alfonso, this is for you. Was she in Cujucuyo? Yes, she was. Excellent, she was, right? Cujucuyo is in Santana, right? Okay, yes. Yes, now, any question? Do you have questions about the use of the verb to be in past, was and where? Hay preguntas de... de yes, uh, please, question. Dígame, dígame. In the penultima pregunta. In la práctica. Yes. Okay, let me see. When were my sister in Santana, right? Okay. Yes. Esta they pregunta are... es pregunta de información. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, ah, ok. No, no, no sería correcto. She was. Ah, no, porque en este caso es, está hablando de my sisters, mis hermanas. Ah, porque sorry. Ahora, no, había visto. no he visto, había visto la S. Es no. que la regla general es plural, where. Singular, was. was. La única excepción es you. Que es singular, perdón. Es plural y singular. Porque es ustedes y, y tú. Pero se usa where. Esa es la única, única excepción. Pero en general, siempre va a ser singular, was. Plural, where, right? Ok. okay. Thank you, Alejandro. ¿Tenía una pregunta? ¿Alguna otra pregunta más? No, teacher. Thanks. ¿No? Ok, ahorita vamos a hacer el, 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 el knowledge check, ¿verdad? Vamos a revisar el nombre de la plataforma y de ahí ya no hay tiempo para preguntas. Tienen que hacerlo. <laughs> ok. Good. So, no questions. Let's go to the, to the platform, right? Nos vamos a la plataforma. Let me see. The platform is here. Ok. Family. Pass of it here, right? Okay, so to begin, we're going to practice. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled. I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Born, Melissa. I was... We'll practice a conversation. Conversation title, I was born in Korea. No se escucha. Ahorita, ahorita. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Now, please. Let's practice the conversation. Listen. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. 
Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. You were very young. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. But I was born here. Now listen and repeat. Let's listen, listen and, and re practice. Repeat, please. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? Repeat, come on. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, let me see. I need two students who help me with the conversation again, right? Ana Maria, can you help me, Ana Maria? You're Melissa. Melissa, right? And Victor. Yes, teacher. You are Mel Melissa in the conversation. Please. And Victor, you are going to be Chuck. Chuck is Charlie, right? Carlos. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in U.S.? No. No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were very you were young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yes, but I was born here. Okay, thank you very much, right? Like somebody say, hey, usted habla salvadoreño muy bien. Ah, porque aquí nací, right? <laughs> okay. Good, thank you. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Any question about the vocabulary in the conversation? No, okay, look. Here we have the question, where were you born, Melissa? So the answer is, yes, I was. No, I, no, no, come on. It's, where were you? I was born in El Salvador. I was born in Mexico. I was born in, in Korea in this case, right? And notice. 
did you go to call? This is a, a, for the simple plan, a simple path, sorry. Okay, only that, only that question, right? But now listen to the explanation in the video. Listen to the Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the U.S. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the U.S. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the U.S. in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. Okay, now is your opportunity to write commentaries. Please write commentaries today or tomorrow, and we're going to read those commentaries in the next class, right? Good. I don't know if you have any extra question. Good. Now let's go to the knowledge check. Now, what you have to do is to learn when to use was and when to use where, right? Remember the general rule. We use was with singular and you use where with plural. This is the general rule. The only exception is you because you say you were, right? Good. Now, in this case, my family and I, don't tell me the answer. Just tell me, is this singular 
or plural? My family and I. Singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Thank you very much. Right? Now we, singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Right. And so on, right? I, my parents, they, my father. Okay. Depending on it is singular or plural, you use was or where, right? Good. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next video. Now, questions with the verb to be in past tense, right? In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Okay. Now, please pay attention that this block of questions are yes, no questions. So, is it yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no, right? But this block of questions, we answer specific information. So, when I say where, I mean a place, right? Un lugar. So, in this case, Korea. When, I mean time, 1985, right? And what is a ciudad, right? What city? In this case, it's Seoul. Seoul, Korea, right? So depending on this, I need you to give your commentaries and we're going to read your commentaries for the next class, right? And to finish, we're going to answer according to the option, right? Listen, question number one, where, where were you born? So I say, donde, right? Donde, where, donde? So the answer could be her name was Yumiko in Hiroshima. Japan, she was really friendly. I wanted to improve, mejorar mi inglés, right? I grew up, crecí, I grew up in Tokyo. It was a little scary. Estaba un poco, estaba un poco, me dio miedo la clase, okay? <laughs> so what, what is the, the correct answer? Where were you born? Don't, don't, don't tell me, no me digas. Okay, then, where did you grow up? And it's an impression, right? Grow up. Donde creciste? Where did you grow up, right? And then you can go to the answer here. You check only one, right? And number three, how was your first day at school? What, how was? Como fue? Primer dia, right? So you have the collection here. And number four, who? Ah, you're going to look for a person. And number four, who? Right? A what person. Is... It's a person, right? Who was your first friend? Number five, what was he or she like? Como, como era ella? Okay, so Beautiful. you're going to talk about a person. No, no, don't say, Rolando, don't, don't say. Okay, <laughs> why did you take this class? Why? Una razón por la que tomaron esta clase. Okay. Make it for tomorrow. And then we're going to review, right? And if you have any extra question, go to the WhatsApp. Si tienen alguna pregunta extra de cómo resolver estos dos laboratorios, me lo dice, okay? So, any extra question? Alguna pregunta extra antes de terminar? Questions, question? No. No question. No question. So thank you very much. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Have an excellent night. Bye-bye. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.